today I am back with another bullet journal video and I'm able to finally share my updated minimalist daily spread for productivity. The reason why I haven't shared this in my previous video is because I wanted to test it out myself to make sure that the system worked before I went and shared this information with you. So today's video is going to be broken up into parts. The first part is going to be about traditional time management systems. Secondly, why they didn't work for me. And lastly, I will go over my new daily spread system that helped me boost my productivity levels and manage time better. I'm sure most of you watching this video have tried some of these methods. The first one is time trapped activities. It's basically writing out a schedule and for that allotted time, you do one specific activity. The second is time blocking. This is when you divide your day into chunks of time where you go and work on specific groups of tasks. The third one is time tracking. Time tracking is when you keep track of time that you spend on each activity and you go and write that down once an activity is complete. There are definitely a lot of benefits that I've seen from using these systems, but in the long term, I didn't find them effective. That brings me to my next point of why these systems did not work for me. For time tracked activities, where you slot a specific time for a specific activity, I found that really wasn't able to handle any interruptions and limited freedom of choosing other tasks that may have come up during the day. For time blocking, that's when you do a bunch of grouped tasks during a specific time frame. This way of time management is effective because it allows you to kind of batch tasks together. After doing this for a while, that it took me way longer than it should have to figure out which task needed to be done first or next or last. And for time tracking, where you go and write down the start time and end time of every single task, I just couldn't do it because it takes way too much time to write down every single activity that you've done in a day. Sometimes you're going to forget to write down what tasks you did and how long it took. The simplest way to manage your time better is not time management, it's actually attention management. So with bullet journaling, I have found a way to kind of emphasize how I spend my time and what I want to devote my time to. Since today is a new day, we're going to be setting it up together. So let's go. First, I'm going to open up a blank page for my daily spread. Nothing else about my bullet journal has changed. So if you want to see how I set up the full monthly and weekly spreads, I'll include the video link in the description box. So instead of writing the header first, like previous videos, I'm going to grab my mild liner highlighters and create columns. After I create my columns, I'm going to go and write the header today's date as well as the day of the week. So the first column is for quick, easy, or administrative tasks that would take less than 10 minutes. The second column is also very short tasks, but they're more focused around organization or cleaning related tasks. And the cleaning can be anything physical or digital, and these tasks should take also less than 10 minutes. The third column is for time-consuming, complex, or difficult tasks. The fourth column is for relaxing or fun tasks that you can look forward to. And don't worry, you'll see why these columns are important in a few minutes. But for now, I'm going to go to the right side of the columns. I'm now going to go create a list of all of the tasks that I need to do for the entire day. So after creating my list, I then mark off check marks, or you can use a different symbol if you'd like, but I use check marks to show which column the task belongs to. I'll also go and put an asterisk beside tasks that are the highest importance or priority. So for example, put up ad for computer, that's a very easy task, so I mark the first column. The next one is review chapter 16, that is a high priority and it should take a little bit longer, so I'm gonna put an asterisk, and then I'll mark off the third column. And here's what it looks like after I check everything off. Now, after you've done checking off the columns for every single task, you're now going to go and pick one task from each column for a total of four tasks. You'll be doing all of these four tasks in order. So for example, so I'm going to go ahead and pick one task from column one, which represents easy and quick administrative tasks. Since there is an asterisk, I'm going to go and do one of those asterisk tasks first. Then I pick a task from my second column, which represents quick cleaning or organizational sort of tasks. For this example, I'm going to probably do get rid of 
20 emails. Next is the third column, which is for challenging or time consuming tasks. And I've only written down two tasks for this group. So I'll go ahead and pick the one that has an asterisk. So that one would be review chapter 16. The last task from this series is from column four, which represents fun and relaxing tasks. I'm going to go and pick read 20 pages of new book as my last task for this series. So I start my four tasks that I've chosen and I don't stop until they're all done. Once I'm done my four tasks, I go back to column one and start the list all over again. So why is this method effective? Well, the reason you want to do this in order is purely psychological. First column is just a bunch of tasks that are really easy and mindless. It doesn't take much effort. After you complete a task, you started that momentum of getting something done. The second column is for cleanup or organization tasks. This can be anything digital, like cleaning your background screenshots or tidying up your desk. So now it's time for the third task. And since you've already built up that momentum of productivity, you're ready to tackle a harder or lengthier task. After that third task, you may need a break or a small reward since you just finished something big. So that's when the fourth column tasks come into play. The tasks from the fourth column are rewarding, relaxing, or just fun, but we'll continue that chain of productivity. If there are any interruptions during the day, that's totally okay. I let these interruptions happen, but as soon as I can get back to my list of tasks, I return to where I left off in the chain as quickly as I can. I think one of the reasons why this works so well is because you're really just sprinkling in fun tasks and mindless, I guess, tasks as well in between to not make your day feel so tiring. It makes me enjoy my day a little bit more because I know that after I'm done my hard task, I have a reward. Yeah, let me know if you decide to give this a try and let me know your thoughts, what worked for you, what didn't. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because it really does help my channel out and I will see you in the next video.